Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your spirit. We love you. We praise your name. We glorify thy name in all the earth. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Well, thank you, thank you, Jesus. The Lord is good. All the time. Yes, all the time God is good. What an awesome word. And I believe that the Lord Jesus Christ loves this type of message. Um, I hope it will bless you. And um, if you have your word and the Bible with you, you can go to Psalm 75 verse 1. I've said, um, it was one of my scriptures last week, and it touched really my heart and my spirit when I um, read that. Psalm 75 verse 1, and I'm speaking this morning about the name of the Lord. Now there's many people that um, does not know things about the name of the Lord. And how awesome it is and um, how important it is. This is one of those uh, practical things that we need to know and need to do. We talk a lot about sometimes things that it's hard to know what and how do you make it part of your life. You know, when we teach men, it's good to know knowledge and to have that knowledge and to pray that knowledge into our lives. And now this is the purpose. We are going for this. And sometimes we get messages that we need to know for this is what we need to do to get to that place. Um, and the name of the Lord is awesome. So Psalm 75 verse 1, it says, We give praise and thanks to you, O God. So we give thanks and praise to you, O God. We praise and give thanks. Your wondrous works Declare that your name is near. So when the works of God is, you can see the works of God, it say that the name of the Lord is near. And if the name of the Lord is near, then the wondrous works is near. Alright? Very important to know that. Your wondrous works declare that your name is near because it is his and they who invoke <coughs> they who invoke that word invoke means they who um, pray they who, who declare it who invoke your name those who declare your name invoke your name this is in the Amplified Rehearse, practice, make present your wonders. Alright, so it says that uh, your wondrous work declare that your name is near and they who invoke your name, those who praise your name, those who declare your name, Declare your name. Rehearse your wonders. So the name of the Lord is connected to wonders. The name of the Lord is connected to wonders. So it's so important to know the name of the Lord. When I meditated this week, I felt, Lord, oh, speak to me, speak to me, help me to understand things. I believe God said to me, there's an important thing that you need to know and need to do and need to speak on. And that's my name. More than anything else. Lord, 
that I missed you. No, you did not miss me, but I want you to know this, and this is very important. Call on my name. My name brings wonders because it's connected with each other. Deuteronomium 32 verse 3. Now, in all the other translations, it's a little bit different than what the King James is saying. But the King James say it in such a way that they can see the revelation. Oh my word, when I saw this way, he said, oh, the other was like, it, it, you know, it's just like, uh, okay, it's a nice crap. But when I read this, God says, read it again. Can you hear what you're reading? I said, oh, I see something here, yeah, I see something here. Yeah. Alright, because God is saying something to us. Wondrous works is connected to my name. Okay, the Tanami 32 verse 3 says in King James, Because I will publish, listen to the word, the name of the Lord, because I will publish the name of the Lord, ascribe ye greatness unto our God. Yeah, yeah, this is awesome. Ascribe greatness to our God. Listen, because I will publish <laughs> yo, the name of the Lord, ascribe greatness unto our God. So what? When you ascribe greatness to our God, you publish the name of the Lord. Do you know anything about publishing? I want to publish a thing. I want to publish the name of the Lord. God says, ascribe greatness unto our God. That means, oh, this is so awesome. Man, this is so awesome. When you stand in the presence of God and you ascribe things, you say glory, what happened is it's like and it's coming back and what happened to you there's glory around you and in you and amongst you when you say oh lord you are awesome awesome full this house awesome full around you oh lord you are such a great powerful god what do you do you say what you say to God, that wondrous, marvelous working is around you and in you. Sure. Because what you ascribe God, you published. Amen. Yeah, this is so awesome. Oh, I love this. I love Amen. this. Give praise unto God. Sure. We give thanks unto Him. Because his wondrous works declare his name. <laughs> I said it, his name. Oh boy, it declares, it shows, it presents. Da -da -da -da. I present the name of the Lord. What? What do you declare? Oh God, you are mighty. Da -da -da -da. God is mighty. Mighty, wondrous works declare that name. That's why when Jesus came in the Old Testament to the people of God and they asked him, what is your name? When he tries to heal them, he will say, I am Jehovah uh, Rohi. Or I'm Jehovah Shama. Or I'm Jehovah um, Makadesh. Or Jehovah Nisi. Whatever he wants them to have, because the one is a banner, the one is he's there, the one he is the uh, shepherd, the one is he heals. This is how they know him. Uh -huh. Oh, because they see the works and the name. It was connected to each other. Sure. It's so important to know. You must publish the name. How do you publish the name? Speak it. And whatever you speak about his name. What you ascribe is what you publish. Ascribe. 
God's name. In the Old Testament, the people of God did not use the name of the Lord in vain because they know this is the most precious word that any human being can utter. Listen here. From the beginning, God made Adam and Eve. Now, they are the people of God and Israel is out of them because Cain slew uh, um, uh, Cain Abel and then Seth came and from Seth came they worship God. They know when we use a name that is what we receive. So in the Old Testament they did not use the name of the Lord in vain. That's why it was one of the laws as well. They know what do we want to see and when God reveal him he reveal him in his name. Oh boy man. Today we are Jesus, Jesus Christ, we speak, but we have missed something as church. Okay, Psalm 20 verse 7. Some trust and boast in chariots and some in horses. That means some boast in your wealth and things that you have in power and oh I boast in my car and I boast in my power but we will trust and boast in the name of the Lord our God Psalm 20 verse 7 then Psalm 124 verse 8 our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth the name of the Lord made heaven and earth. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Listen, if your help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let them, um, Psalm 148 verse 13, let them praise the name of the Lord. So I think it was David that wrote here, and God would say, let them praise the name of the Lord. Let the people praise the name of the Lord. Declare His name. Hmm. For His name alone is excellent. He's the only name that is excellent. Of all the names you can use, He is excellent. It's the only name when you speak a name to God. That is excellent that you receive that, what you say. You can say all day, Martin, Martin, you receive nothing. You can say the whole day, Corpus and Paul, whatever. He's the only name when you can say, Jesus yes. Christ. Amen. And there is an excellence for the name alone is excellent. His glory is above the heavens and the earth. Amen. Why does he connect it? Let them praise the name of the Lord, for the glory is connected to the name of the Lord, and it's above the heaven and the earth. That means, whatever that's in, on earth, whatever is in heaven, there's no better thing than the name of the Lord that you can use. Amen, amen. That overrides any circumstances and any problem and any situation and whatsoever you can call in the earth or in heaven, it's above the name of the Lord. It is alone excellent and His glory is above it. Oh, whoa, it's so precious. That was Psalm 148, verse 13. 13 yeah. Yes. Then I have two scriptures I want to read to you. Oh man, I, I believe God is saying, Oh, I love that. I love this martyr. I love this sermon. Listen here. Exodus 34, verse 4 and 5. So Moses, Exodus 34 verse 4 and 5. Oh boy, <laughs> this, is, this is precious. 
And there's a reason. There's a reason that we need to know why would God do this. So Moses cut two tables in stone like the first. And he rose up early in the morning and went up on Mount Sinai. And the Lord had commanded him, as the Lord had commanded him, and took in his hand the two tablets of stone. Now look, verse 5. Lani, look. And the Lord descended in a cloud and stood with him, with who? With Moses. Him. There and proclaim the name of the Lord. <laughs> the Lord descended and He Himself declared, declared the name of the Lord. Why would Jesus do this? Moses stood. God commanded with the stones when He gave him the law. Then the Lord will be sent in a cloud. That cloud is glory. Sunday sermon going. Oh, what an awesome message. The dark, thick darkness is glory. The cloud. With him, the Lord descend in the cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name of the Lord. Why would he do that? Because he wanted to show him something. Declare. He declared his name to Moses. I want to tell you I declare. I show my name. Because whatever I'm going to say now is what it's come. Is it will come and fill you. It will come and be around you. Amen. Moses, do what I'm doing. And that's why the prophet says, declare the name of the Lord. We, we know there's something, there's wonders when you do this. So the Lord descend and declare his name to Moses. Oh, what an awesome meeting. Verse 19 of Exodus 33. Yeah, 33 verse 19. That was on the mountain. Now, just before that, Moses came to the Lord and said, Lord, I want to see your glory. <laughs> oh, I want to see your glory. Listen, I want to see your glory. So glory, when the Lord Jesus on the mountain came down, he descended in glory and he declared his name. Wondrous work and glory is connected to his name. Alright, so first there was glory and then he declared his name and I believe that the wondrous works full Moses because when Moses came down, amen, he shined. Okay, listen now, he said to God, God I want to see your glory. Now verse 19, and God said, I will make all my goodness pass before you or go before you. Listen to the word. Lord, I want to see your glory. All right. I will let my goodness pass before you. So here's goodness, walking, and after it came Moses. So Moses followed goodness. Goodness was passed before you. But listen here. And I will proclaim my name. God himself said, you want to see my glory? I will let goodness pass before you. Be in front of you. And I will declare my name. God himself declared his name. Amen. Why would he do that? <laughs> oh man. I will proclaim my name. The Lord before you. I will declare the name of the Lord before you. The Lord before you. For I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious. I will show mercy and loving kindness on whom I will show mercy and loving kindness. I will declare the name of the Lord. God says, I will declare the name of the Lord. And goodness will pass before you. 
God? Do we need to know something? Yes, I think you need to know something. That my wondrous work and my glory and my goodness can be for you if you know to declare my name. Declare my name. Goodness will be before you. Wondrous and work will be for you. And you will represent, you will present, you will publish <coughs> what my name say. Because here is goodness and whatever you ascribe. So now Moses, you scribe and say the Lord is merciful. Then it's in front of you the goodness. What is this goodness in front of you? Mercy. So then Moses walks, he walks then in in mercy in. and he published wow look there's mercy he published mercy Moses did some things wrong but God what why don't you hit him because Moses walks in mercy <laughs> the Lord is long suffering the Lord is good that guy I can see he published God's goodness. How is he doing it? He only <laughs> declared the name of the Lord and the goodness is before him. And as it is before him, he walks in that. Oh, I see that man. Wow, that man is powerful. Oh, that man is awesome. That man has so soft heart. That man is loving. That man is... Can you, can you hear what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Yes. You declare the name of the Lord, the goodness and the wondrous work and the glory is in front of you and you walk in that. And you publish that, what you have said to Him. That's the key. That's the key. Oh man, uh, like I said, when, when I meditate on God and God says, I speak on my name, that uh, this is a precious revelation that I give to you. Don't, oh man, this is awesome. I'm going to do it more. Amen. Because I'm going to say, Lord, you are powerful. Thank you. There's power in front of Martin. Then Martin is going to walk in power. Oh, glory. Yeah, your glory. You are so glorious. I know. Glory. In me, around me, in front of me. Oh, that Martin, he looks so glorious. Yeah. Right. The Tenomium 28 verse 10 And all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by my name. <laughs> all the people shall see. How will they see? Because you will become what you have declared. Listen to the words. And the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by my name of the Lord. They are called, thou art called by the name of the Lord. They are called by the name of the Lord. You are called by the name of the Lord. And they shall be afraid of thee. The Tenomium 28 verse 10. The Tenomium 28 verse 10. Listen. Oh, oh. And all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord. What does that mean? That means you stand here in the presence of God. I want to see your glory. Honor me by telling me, ascribe my name, O Lord. O Lord, O Lord, you are such an awesome God. What do you declare? That awesomeness. Come in me and in front of me. Now I'm walking in that awesomeness. Listen. And people will call me by the name of the Lord. People will call you because they will see. Oh, they will not start seeing. Oh, that's Martin. That's Sue. Letitia. Lani. 
kuipus en kaar en they will say, oh, there's Jesus Christ. Yeah. What? Because they look like Jesus Christ. Why? Because they mention His name. And as they mention His name, the goodness is in front of them and they walk in that what they declare. I'm just saying, because we meditate a little bit, we think on things. We have missed things because we do not have spirit and we do not meditate on the word of God. Take it. Exodus 20 verse 7 where the law was given to the people. Listen here. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God for the Lord will not hold anyone guiltless who misuse his name. But the other side is also yeah, yeah, there. Yeah. So in the law you must not misuse the name of the Lord because you will not be guiltless. But if you use the name of the Lord in righteousness and rightly, what, uh, what, what, what will happen then to you? <laughs> amen, amen. I just ask it. Don't misuse it because you will not be guiltless. Yeah. You will be guilty of what you, you, you misuse the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen here, yeah. many people try to talk about Yahweh and uh, all the other names of God. Use that name if you talked about Jesus Christ. But don't come, come with your doctrines and stuff and say it is not, His name is not Jesus Christ. I see many things in my life and spirits that obey me when I say Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So whatever you are saying, do it. But I believe his name is just Jesus, Jesua. Amen. Jesus the Christ. So, I want to finish with these two scriptures in Joshua 9 verse 8 and 1 King, Kings 10 verse 1. This is now people that stood far away from Israel and they saw something different with the people of God and then they made plans this is not normal people this is governors and kings that saw what is God doing with Israel alright two scriptures now listen it says Joshua 9 verse 8 and 9 it says and they say unto Joshua we are thy servants and Joshua said unto them who are ye and from where from whence come ye verse 9 and they say unto him from a very far country thy servants are come thy servants are come because of the name of the Lord thy God <laughs> yeah. for we have heard the fame of him and all that he did in Egypt. Amen. So the nations were so afraid. And so they said, but what is going on? Wherever Israel is moving, God, the enemies, he took care of them. We are afraid we are ambassadors and kings of other nations. And they came to Joshua and said, we heard the belt. The name of the Lord. Because when you speak the name of the Lord, Amen, it's not in vain. It is powerful. When we see whatever you are speaking, you represent and you show Him. Sure. What? We are afraid. We are your servants. <laughs> People in high places will come to you and say, we are your servants. Because of what? The name of the Lord. Amen. Well, man. 1 Kings 10 verse 1. 1 King, Kings 10 verse 1. And this is the Queen of Sheba. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I love this sermon. And when the Queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon concerning the name of the Lord, she came to prove him with hard questions. 
the Queen of Sheba came to Solomon because she heard of the fame concerning the name of the Lord. And she came and said, what on earth do you know what I'm not knowing? I have questions. And the Bible says he answered all her questions. And when he did that, and she saw the wealth and the glory that was around him in that time, her breath was gone. <sighs> I cannot believe it. Because of the name of the Lord. Yes, because of the name of the Lord. Amen. We honor the name of the Lord. So, it's so good to come with each other. And when we come together, and when we are maybe in your car, or in a shower, or in a bathroom, whatever, um, why? wherever, know this, the name of the Lord is holy, and it's powerful. Whatever you declare, you can publish that. Your life can publish that goodness. Because then you are walking in that. Because His name is the only one excellent. Above all the earth and above all the heavens. Above every circumstance and above everything. Let's declare the name of the Lord amen, Jesus. Amen. 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 Yeah. Be praised. Awesome. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah.